Okay, so here are some of the little vessels that I have that I want to put some wax in. They're all from the thrift store. Like, look at these little cutie patooties. I guess it's a creamer and a little tiny sugar of sorts, I guess. Anyway, so I shined these up last night, um, but I ran out of wax last night. So I've gone to the dollar store, wax is melting away on the stove. And then look at these. Oh my God. Look how perfect these are. I love these. Six bucks for the pair. So I'm going to shine these up and we're going to turn them both into candles. And then I'm going to put them on Etsy and we'll see how they sell. Or if they sell. Who knows? Who knows? Just because I think something is cool doesn't mean everybody else shopping Etsy will think it's cool. But we'll see. And then this last one, I don't know how it's going to shine up, if it will. But I thought it was a very cute shape. The little bowl. So we'll try and clean that up. First I want to try and get this darn label off. Now, okay, well, mm -hmm. okay. this is my favorite silver uh, polish. Oh, look how beautiful. Okay, we have to put our wicks in. So let's do that quickly before we do our wax. Okay, so I've got our wicks here. And these are the little sticky things that hold the wicks on the bottom. A little drop of water there. And our wax is ready. Oh, these are so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Okay. Now, I did buy a candle making kit. So these may be the ones that came with the kit. These did come with the kit. But I've also purchased wicks off of Timu. Very same thing. Exact same thing. All right, and then I'm gonna grab my scissors and just put this right in the middle and then tap it with the scissors. And there. Yep. Easy peasy. So easy peasy wheezy. All right. I'm going to pour these over here so y'all can see how easy this is. Not scary at all. I was a little nervous just, you know, because it's hot wax in a, in a tall cylinder that I thought might be kind of awkward to hold. But it's not. It's easy. Okay. And we'll prop the wicks up right after we pour. Okay. Be right back. Okay, so for my candles, um, I've just got here a thrift store pot. I bought specifically for candles, so it's just sticky. I've got some water in it, and I've got it going. And here I have just Dollar Tree candles. They're two bucks each. Just gonna put those in, just right into the water. There. And yeah, last night was the first time I've done this, so 
I don't even know if I'm doing it the way I should be doing it. But anyway, um, I found that having the water up as high as it'll go in the pot, it, it just makes sense, right? Then you're getting the hot water on the jar. Okay, so it's about 10 after 12 right now. This takes a while. It really takes a long time in these jars for some reason. Maybe because the jars are so thick. Anyway, okay, so, so we'll it's about 1 o'clock. So I think it's been about 50 minutes. And one of them is starting to almost be ready. See, it's way down there. And see how these look? So they're getting there. So yeah, it takes a while. Okay, see, I've just got a hold of it like that. Easy peasy. And then, I think we can probably only get one of these done. I like to fill it really full. All right, so we got a little bit left. Okay, and there's, that's our wick. Let me just pull that out. And make sure we get everything. I'll let that cool there to the side. And these are our two wick proper upper thingies. So they must go this way. Maybe I was putting them on backwards. Yeah, that makes more sense. So we'll just make sure it's standing as straight as possible. And we'll do this one too. Even though it's just a little tiny bit of wax in there. And don't pull too much on the wick. You don't want to pull it up. And there. That's it. And that's almost cool already. This is almost cool already. I'm just going to um, recycle these. And there we go. So easy, so fun. All right. I'll show you more as I get more done. Okay. Okay. Now I know this is going to be hard for you guys to see, but I've got on my oven mitts. And I've got one jar of wax that's ready to go. So uh, these are candles that I poured last night and they've pitted. So I'm going to top them off there. See, it's just so easy to hold this thing with the oven mitts. There. All right. So we'll let those dry overnight and hopefully they'll be good to go. And I'll have to prop up the, the wick. I'll do that. And then over here, I topped off these two. And I'll have to prop up the wicks. And that one looks pretty good, so I'm going to leave it. And this one I poured. I'm going to pour a bit more in there. So, and this one has the wood wick. I love the wood wick. Okay. Okay, so I have finished my first batch of candles ever. They turned out so good. But we're going to cut the wicks. So, let's start with these two cutie patooties. Look at, oh, so flippin' cute. Again, I think they're creamer and sugar, just weirdo creamer and sugars. So I'm just gonna gently cut these. I don't know how to, oh, I'm just gonna wing it. There, I guess that's a good, Good height? What do you think? I think it is. I don't know. The person that this goes to can cut the wick shorter if they feel like it needs to be shorter. It's so cute! Oh my god. And I love the color of the wax. That's just our dollar store. Okay. Oh, look at these little guys. I found these obviously at the, well not obviously, but at the dollar store. I found three of them. Look at how cute. Oh my god. I love these. Can you guys see that? 
so cute. Okay, let's cut our little wick. Oh, oh. you guys, I think these turned out so flippin' cute. See, same thing. They're not silver or anything. I, they're just silver metal, but I think they're adorable. Such an easy project, you guys, and so inexpensive. Um, I think one candle from the dollar store, one of those uh, jar candles, I think it filled up like two of these, and I think one and three quarters of this guy. So you get quite a bit of bang for your two bucks. And then, of course, the cost of all these little guys is nominal for what you get. Oh my God, so cute. Um, these three came together. Oh, it's got a little bit of adhesive I missed. I to get that. These three came together and they were probably, I, I wanna say three or four dollars for the three of them. Um, Oh, these, oh, I love these. These came together, they were $6 for the pair. I adore these. And I'll show you with the lid on it. Oh my God. Tell me that's not stunning, come on. That is a stunning candle. Oh my God. So they'll be sold on Etsy as a set. Cause I just think they're Adorable. I don't even think we have to cut that wick. Just flippin' adorable. And then this little guy, just just this mini coffee pot, I think is gorgeous. I'm gonna cut this wick down just a tad. And really seriously, just a tad. Look! Oh my god! I think that's beautiful. And then oh yes, look at this one. <gasps> oh, I love that. It's um, it's one of those things where it's shiny, but you know you can tell it's 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 still got patina, even though it's shiny. You know what I mean? Okay, let's use these. We're gonna cut these and try and cut them evenly. And there we go. Oh my god, that's stunning. That is just, and that's so fun. Okay, Come on, that, then we've got this one. I love, love, love the shape of this. It's not a perfect one. Again, it's shiny, but it still has lots of wear on it. I love that. And we're gonna cut this wick down. Um, I think they just cut with scissors, and we're gonna find out. Please, please, please work. <gasps> Oh, I love the wood wicks. I love, 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 love the wood. Oh, that's so cute. And then look, oh, you guys, oh my God. Hang on, let me make room for this baby. And hang on, look at this one. Oh, and look. Oh, come on. How stunning is that? And it's got the wood wick candles. I did get a little bit over here, but I'm just going to scrape that off very carefully. But look at how nice that looks. And that, again, that's just those $2 candles. Oh my God. I'm so flipping happy with this, you guys. All right, one more. Look, this shined up so pretty. So pretty. I love this. And look at the, I just can't get over it. This, this wax just looks so beautiful. All right, let's carefully, there. Oh, come on. What kind of a gift would that be? I mean, that's just so fabulous. And again, the cost is just so nominal. This is probably $3 worth of wax. Unbelievable. And this is probably $5.
And you know when you find something like this in the store, you know it's going to be more than $8 if you bought that retail. Oh my god. If you could even find something as cool, as cool as that, and as cool as this one. Oh my god. They're unscented. I, you know, it's the first time I've done candles, so I just stuck with the scent that came in the in the bar in the jar, and they're unscented. Yeah, they just smells like wax. But I do have scents, so I'll be playing with the scents, and I do have colors, so I'm going to be playing with colors. I actually have black, so I'm going to try black candles. I think that would be so pretty in silver, don't you? Oh my God, you guys, I'm so happy with this project so happy i hope you guys try this it's so easy it's fun to do and you can find the coolest little vessels at the thrift store and i have i have more i have i have more and i'm going to be on the hunt for something different you know i want to do more than silver i want to do just odd things i don't, I don't even know like what i haven't found it yet but you'll know when i find it i'll, I'll let you know anyway Okay, again, I hope you like the project. I love it. Okay, good night.